Hello, Kenny Evans here, another car video. And the topic of this video is reasons men should allow girls nights out. Before I get into the topic, I want to let you guys know this channel is all about uh, helping men and women be the best versions of themselves in all aspects of their lives. I know I do a lot of dating relationship, but it's also helping you guys in health, wealth, and mindset. I want to be help you guys be the best versions you can and just really help you guys have the best lives you can. So, welcome. Uh, now we got that out the way. I know we got some new people here. Welcome. I know we got some people who've been here for a while. Welcome. Um, I know some of y'all haven't subscribed. You know, and I understand. But, take a couple seconds to hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification button. And, um, if you just want to support me, you like the videos, hit the like button. <laughs> I definitely appreciate it. Uh, but yeah, let us get into, <laughs> let us get into this topic at hand. Reasons women, well, reasons men should allow girls nights out i know some guys here are looking at me like i got 15 heads and i understand it's a controversial topic but it is very important you know what i mean you don't want your 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 relationship to to end and you don't want any cheating you don't want anything like that you know what i mean so it is very important that you are at least open to certain things that could help alleviate pressure for your your girl, your wife, your woman, whatever you're looking for or you have. You know what I mean? It's something to keep in mind for the future if you're not in a relationship. And these are four reasons, and I have a bonus at the end. So stick to around to the end so you could hear that bonus as well. Um, but yes, reason number one, reward for good behavior. If your girl's been doing everything right, you know, feeding you, fucking you, maybe she buy you a couple of gifts here every now and then. She's just doing everything, just being so, so friendly, making life easy for you. One of her girls, let it be a single girl, you know, ask her, hey, would you be free this weekend to, you know, have a girl's night out? Yeah, I know you've been busy. I know your man, you know, don't allow too much, but hey. That's just a special occasion, you know, my birthday or whatever. She comes, asks you, hey, you know, one of my girls want to go um, to the club with the, because of her birthday with me and some, some other girls. Can I go? You got to think to yourself, she's been doing all this stuff right for you. Things have been going well with you and her. She's been just taking care of you, doing all this great stuff. So, yeah. There you go. It's all good. But, yeah, it's as a reward. You don't just let it from the beginning. It's a reward. The reward is the girl's night out. You know what I mean? So, reason number one, reward her for good behavior. And it's a cheap reward, too. You know what I mean? So, Reason number two, let her see how great you are compared to other men. You know, this is all granted. You, the best version of yourself, you're, you know, you're looking good. You know, you take care of yourself. You got a cool personality. You know what I mean? You got a good job. You got some money. You know what I mean? You got game. These are all, you know, uh, things that you have to have in place before you know, you allow all this stuff and um, you even really start dealing with women. I mean, I'm not saying you can't have it in the process, but you got to be pretty, pretty established, at least in, in some of those um, when it comes to the relationship. But let her see how whack other guys are compared to you. That is important. She has to see, wow, I actually have a, a great thing here. And I got this from Mr. Lecaro. He mentioned it. I never thought about this. But it's like realizing what she has at home where she doesn't want to screw it up. You, she has to see 
what she has um, is so great compared to all the stuff out here that she doesn't want to leave. She doesn't want to mess it up. But she has to be able to get out. She has to be able to be uh, able to go to the girls' nights out. You know what I mean? So that is super important. Let her be able to get out so she can compare you to other men and see how great you are compared to other men. Granted, you are constantly striving and working to become the best version or um, becoming the best version of yourself, you know, in all aspects of your life, you know. So, reason number two. Reason number three. You have to allow freedom in your relationship. This kind of goes hand in hand with the uh, reason number two. But the key is understanding that when you allow the freedom, she doesn't have to sneak around. You know what I mean? You don't want that one day. <laughs> Ron Wills brings this up all the time <laughs> in his videos where you at work, you circle back, and then <laughs> you see her with some dude. It could be the pool boy. It could be the mailman. It doesn't matter. Some dude. Some random dude walking down the street. You know what I mean? And old boy's like, my bad. <laughs> you know what? A my bad relationship or a situation. You know what I mean? You got to allow freedom in your relationship. You don't want your girl to feel like she's in prison. And then whenever she gets a little inch of freedom, she, she goes wild. You know what I mean? So you got to allow freedom in your relationship. It's very important to allow freedom in that relationship. So she is not only happy, but you could trust her. And she could trust you. You know what I mean? And you're not needy. You don't come off as insecure. You know? So allowing freedom is very important. But, and that's step number three. But, and this big but, and this brings me to step number four. Huge but. If she does do something that you don't like, of course, if you find out about it while at the girls' night out or wherever, um, therefore, you know she is not for you and you will let her go. You will let her go. And again, it could be painful. You could be married. You know what I mean? But ultimately, you're going to have abundance of mindset. I'm sure after watching some of my videos, you understand how important ab the abundance mindset ha is and having it is, you know. So that is the key, having the abundance mindset. Whether you're married, you could have been in a relationship for 15, 20, 30 years, even if it's five months, five years. And even if you're boyfriend and girlfriend, you have kids or you're married and you have kids, you're going to let her go. Because if you find out about it and you still want to, and I get it, sometimes it's easier said than done. But usually if you, this stuff happens, it's not the first time or if there's been signs and, you know, it, there's been problems. You know what I mean? And I get it. Sometimes it, it could happen if you allow freedom. It can happen. A girl will cheat. But you just have to be willing to let her go. You know what I mean? Because even punishment, you see who she is. It's in there. You can punish her. Whatever it is, take her away, her allowance, or, you know, no dick for a while. It doesn't matter. You see where she is, and you're in a monogamous relationship. relationship. You had an understanding. She broke the understanding, the agreement. You have to let her go. It is important. That's the key to having a, a strong, successful relationship, being willing to leave and leaving without looking back. You know what I mean? So that's the key. You allow the freedom, but if she breaks the agreement, she breaks your trust, you gotta be willing to go. Reason number four. And here is the bonus. The bonus we got for you guys. I got for y'all. So, when it comes to all this, you know, rewarding for good behavior, letting her come, you know, see how great you are compared to other men, allowing freedom in your relationship, 
And of course, um, if she does something you don't like that you find out, find out about, um, therefore, you know, she's not for you and you've got to let her go and you will let her go. All this doesn't matter if, and this is the most important thing, because it's in the beginning, you did not vet her properly. If you do not vet her properly, all this, you can let her go out. She will, she'll ramshack you. You know what I mean? She will be fucking sucking, doing all this other stuff all around, all around town. But if you were able to vet her properly, you understand she doesn't always like to go out. She probably doesn't even go out. You know, and even if she does, she's very controlled. You know, she's, she's, she's all about knowing who she is and what she's all about. She's not trying to just do it all, you know, show the whole world what she's, what she's all about. She's selective. She's very relaxed. She's probably the mature one in the relationship when it comes to her friends. You know what I mean? So it's like, especially if she's with you, she got to be mature, you know, uh, because you've been training her as well. And she's open to training. You she, you know she is a solid girl. You know what I mean? And you know she would regret losing you terribly. It would be the worst mistake of her life to that point. Because of how she's influenced. You've influenced her. She's invested so much time and energy. You know how you, she, you helped her become a better person. She has so much love and respect for you. You see how how great she truly is because you knew where she was. You know what I mean? And you know you had a hand in helping her become great because you vetted her properly. You know? So vetting her properly is the key. If you did not vet her properly, all the other stuff doesn't matter. You know what I mean? So that is the key, vetting her properly. So yes, 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 yes. That's all I got for y'all today. Let me know whether you like my list or you dislike my list. Let me know if I forgot something. You know, let me know if there's something you would like to add. You know, um, of course, uh, like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification button. Uh, yeah, let me know what other topics you want me to talk about again. This channel is for you guys. I don't know if I mentioned that before, but this channel is for you guys. I know I, I make the videos, but the channel is for you guys to help you guys become the best versions of yourself, both men and women in all aspects of your life. Health, wealth, mindset, and relationships. I know I do a lot of uh, relationship, you know, talk, dating relationship, but it's all about helping you guys be the best you can be, uh, being the complete version of yourself, and being a complete person. Um, so let me know what other topics you want me to talk about. You know? Um, again, health, wealth, mindset, relationships, dating, all that good stuff. Um, so, uh, if you found value in the video, I appreciate donations. You know, any little bit counts. Uh, but yeah, of course, hope y'all safe. I'll see y'all next week. And always remember, the strongest man is the happiest man. Peace.